it, it, it's a filtering process. You, you might get a good fight, you might not. Uh, most of the fights we have at Ground Upon, we try to pair the fighters up the best we can to uh, the, the training level that they've had and their records. So uh, Spider Silva is nowhere near this fight? Meaning that... Because that guy will do shit up no matter where he is. I got, Boy, is that guy boring. I got Rick Mathis and Brian Sheldon. Uh, um, These guys are the headliners. They're the, uh, the big... The big Title card fight. I'm excited for this. Yeah, they're going to bring it. Rick is uh, coming out of GR MMA. Um, Brian's coming out of uh, where you trained at, Southside Dojo, for your fight with. I don't know that where you trained. And um, basically, uh, these guys will bring it. I, I guarantee the girls will bring it. Um, this event's going to be really big. Um, plus, amateur MMA is uh, growing. We've uh, created the Mama organization, uh, which is out of Lansing. It's uh, mixed amateur martial arts. It's ran by Al Lowe, and um, he's the MMA commissioner. And uh, basically, um, it's establishing a set of rules for the amateur program, so it's going, it's going to make it a lot more le legit. Before we start talking to the fighters, I know this is something that uh, that promoters all over the state have had issues with. It seems like Michigan is way like on the cusp of getting cleared for the whole like full on. We can do we can do UFC. We can have all kinds of like a paid promotions and things like this. How close are we? Because I, ma I imagine you've got. Some kind of an inside uh, insight to that. Well, Michigan's just miss. Uh, we're missing out on the legislation part of it, which is what Mama's trying to create. If no, wait, wait. You mean our uh, our state lawmakers in Lansing aren't doing a good job at something? <laughs> they can. <coughs> yeah. They can hear us. Yes. Well, do your job. Uh, it's fighting. Something. It's do money thing. You know what? If nothing else, you can just look at it and say, "Hey, that's money and and stuff mm -hmm. coming into the state." Yeah. Stop scaring people in cash out of the mitten. I know we're putting all of our money into rider trucks and seeing it flow down <laughs> exactly. south. Exactly. Bye bye. It, Have a good day. MMA is the largest growing sport in, in America. Period. Uh, it, and it, I know you guys like hockey a lot, but it, it's 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 caught yeah. hockey. <laughs> so yeah, well, well, yeah. Well, and it, so did badminton. Yeah. I'm like one of seven <laughs> hockey fans, and well, you can see lockout with, thing uh, is not good. With like UFC pay per views, every one they do is bigger than the last one. They got the, that. That Mir fight coming up is going to be oh, yeah. it's going to be record setting. So, July 11th, Brock Lesnar, Frank Mir. Gonna be badass. Now you've got uh, you've got Ricky and Brian here, and here's the thing that blows my mind about MMA, and it, it it's it's true at every level, no matter what whether you're watching on television, you're watching it locally. In boxing, there's an inherent disrespect and dislike for the fighters. You know, these guys, they talk smack about one another, and there are a handful of rivalries like that in MMA. When you got anybody versus Ken Shamrock, pretty yeah. much the guy. Thinks Shamrock's yeah, a douche oh yeah. and he's 90 years old anyway, so why are you still in here? You brain damaged Father, yeah, well, Father Time versus yeah. Ken Shamrock. But <laughs> there's so much with with MMA and the type of fighting, the vicious fighting styles, there's got to be such trust and inherent respect for the opponent because you could kill somebody. Yeah. I well, mean, and not in the, okay, I got punched for 18 rounds and now my <laughs> brain's swelling. You could, yeah, the right chokehold, game over. Unless the guy you're fighting. And you, you know, have that mutual respect and, and admiration for one another to respect the sport. Yeah, well, in, in MMA, especially in the amateur world, you don't have people throwing, you know, beer bottles at each other during weigh-ins. Most of the fighters, when they get done with a fight, especially at a ground and pound event, they hug each other when they're done. Uh, most of them become friends afterwards. Uh, they're really respectable and honorable. That's even all the way up through the pro ranks. Right. Uh, Forrest Griffin uh, was going to be a lawyer. Uh, he stopped before that. Um, so a lot of these guys... Couldn't get his ears through Rashad, the door. Rashad Evans has a psych degree. Um, so these guys are ah. smart people. and made, made him laugh. That was my only mission. <laughs> I, he's been staring at me like, dude, you are not funny. <laughs> uh, he, he's one of thousands of stand up radio stickers every morning. That's why the we, same thing. That's why we do radio. I can't see the people not laughing at the jokes. Uh, there are two of us that Yeah, but right? you guys are douchebags. I don't give a crap about you. Uh, basically, you guys just got no crossed off the Christmas card list. This guy over here. <laughs> Basically, the events uh, this Saturday, it's at Clacko Orchards, and Steve, if you're listening from Clackos, it's in the sports pavilion. It's not held at the orchard, <laughs> like some of the people have thought and sent us emails on. It's you're going to be fighting in the apples? That's Fight, funny. Fighting amongst the fruit. <laughs> be, uh, before I give the mic up to the fighters, uh, I just want to give uh, a couple quick uh, recognitions to uh, all the staff at Ground and Pound, um, my co-owner, uh, Paul Simpson, for funding Ground and Pound. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Neil Costello, Brendan Rambat, uh, Eric Reed.